and very gradually see if you could draw your right knee towards your chest and either place the right heel by the right side of your pelvis, or if this is not for you today, you lengthen the right leg to the right side, also doesn't have to be as much. And your point of focus one to, is going to be for just another moment here on your sitting bones. And you wanna make sure both of your sitting bones can ease towards the ground, wherever it is that you chose to sit. Palms on the knees, we relax the shoulders and the next exhalation, send our lower back down and our middle back backwards. We hold the knees so we won't fall and we let our back stretch. Then we inhale, sending the body right and forward. With exhalation, we send the body to the left and then back. Try to really allow the entire spine be moved in those circles. Try to make sure that the motion starts from the pelvis, but it takes along the entire spine. And maybe the motion can grow. Make sure that all your joints are feeling okay with the size of your, of your circle. And try to make sure that your breath is the element that you follow as you are moving in those circles. Inhalation takes you right and forward. Exhalation takes you left and back. Very good. Let's stay backwards next time we get there. Hold again the knees so you won't fall and stretch our back. And then as we inhale, let's come forward, kind of rolling a little bit further to the tip of our sitting bones. Open our chest, expand our heart. Very good. And then let's place the palms of our hands just in front of our body, on the mat or on the carpet, at about shoulder width, and not too far out, also not too close to the body. So you feel that your body has enough room, your spine has enough room to move a little bit. Because we want to try and round the back with exhalation, sending the head and the buttocks in, just like we do many times on all four. And with inhalation, lift the head and the buttocks up, open up the chest and arch the back, sending your tailbone backwards. Exhale, press the palms and round the back like you push the ground away from your chest. Inhale, pull the ground toward your chest, open up your heart. Continue also with this a few more times. If you need to adjust the position of your palms to give you a little bit more opportunity to move your spine, go ahead and adjust your arms. You wanna also here try to feel that most of your spine, if possible, all of your spine is encouraged to move, is taken into the motion that the inhalation brings, which is to arch, and the exhalation brings, which is to round. Beautiful. Inhale and lift the head and the buttocks up here, open up the chest, and then walk your palms back towards your body, back towards your torso. We lift both arms far up to the sky and we lengthen. We try again to reach with the sitting bones down to the ground. And then with the next exhalation, you lower the left palm to the left side of your pelvis. And we try to lower the right palm to the left shoulder. To the left shoulder. Yes, good. Make sure that the left arm here by the side is helping you a little bit to lengthen the spine. Gives you a bit more opportunity to lengthen. So as we exhale, we can slowly take the time and send the right elbow and the head and the neck to look over to the left. And with inhalation, we can send the right elbow and the head to the right. Exhalation, elbow and head to the left. Inhalation, elbow and head to the right. Exhalation, elbow and head to the left. Now pay attention, I'm keeping my head to the left and I'm sending with inhalation, just the elbow to the right. 
Just the, the right palm is still holding the shoulder. Exhale, elbow to the left and head turns to the right. Inhale, elbow to the right and head turns to the left, opposite directions. Exhale, elbow to the left and head to the right. Inhale, elbow to the right, head turns to the left. Exhale, elbow to the left, head to the right. Exhale, elbow to the right, head to the left. Stay for a moment, take your time here and slowly lower the right palm to the left knee. Press a bit more into the left palm, grow taller with your spine, elongate. And as you exhale, turn your body a little bit deeper into a twist going over to the left side if you can. I also brought my head here. So I can lengthen the spine as we inhale and then turn the spine a little further to the left as you exhale. Slowly, slowly release a bit your twist so you have a bit more room. And this time we're keeping the palms as they are because we want to anchor the shoulders and the arms in this position but we do wanna move the pelvis. It's gonna be a smaller motion and just in the pelvis, but definitely a very significant motion. Let's turn the pelvis and I say again, it's gonna be a small motion, right and forward, exhale, left and back, like an inner massage to your pelvis, right and forward, exhale the pelvis, left and back. Inhale, right and forward. Exhale, left and back. Inhale, right and forward. Exhale, left and back. Continue with this motion. It is a small one, but it touches really deep areas in your pelvis. Allow the shoulders and the arms to stay anchored. Allow your pelvis to receive the motion that your circles invite. We eventually steady the pelvis. We press into both palms a bit and lengthen the spine as we inhale. Exhale maybe a little bit deepening into the twist. So we can lower the palms to the left of the body and walk the arms a little further. You have few options here. You can keep the elbows down and allow the upper body to rest on the elbows. You can place the palms one on top of the other and rest the forehead on top of them. You can also lengthen the arms in front of you and rest the forehead down on the mat. Give yourself another moment or two to ease exactly where you are, to relax a bit more, and to notice the wonderful stretch you're bringing to your lower back with this motion. Inhaling and exhaling, inviting every exhalation to relax you a bit more, to take you a little closer to the mat. Step by step, we take the time and we gradually walk our body back up to the center. We walk the torso back up towards the sky. Place both arms behind the back so you can comfortably lean on them. Bring your feet right in front of you at about pelvis width. Make sure you're comfortably leaning on your arms behind you. They're not too close and also not too far away. And with exhalation, we lower both knees to the right and turn the head to the left. Inhaling knees and head back to the center. Exhaling the knees to the left and the head turns to the right. Inhaling knees and head back to the center. Exhale knees to the right and head to the left. 
Inhaling the knees and the head back to the center. Exhale the knees to the left and the head to the right. Inhaling knees and head back to the center. Exhaling knees to the right, head to the left. Then walk your palm, the palms of your hands a little closer to your body. So your back more or less seated. And then see where your left hip wants to go. Whether the left heel can stay pretty close to the left hip or maybe the left leg needs to be a little bit more elongated to the left side. Your indication is according to where, you, where your sitting bones are. You want them connected to the ground. We place the palms on our knees wherever they are. We relax a bit more the shoulders. And with exhalation, we round the back. Sending lower back down and middle back backwards. Try not to tighten too much your shoulders too close to your ears. Keep them away. Inhalation, send the body left and forward. Exhalation, send the body right and back. Allow this motion to start at the pelvis, but to be able to invite the entire spine into it. Good. Inhaling left and forward. Exhaling right and back. If some joints in your body restrict your motion, listen to your joints, okay? Don't push through any pain in joints. You can move your spine as far as your hips and knees and ankles allow. No pain, okay? Beautiful. Inhaling the body, left and forward. Exhaling the body, right and back. And we stay backwards, we hold the knees, we relax the shoulders. With inhalation, we are coming forward. We are rolling the shoulders back, we open chest, we expand the heart. And as we exhale, we take the body just a little bit further forward, like try to still keep both sitting bones on the ground so we can lower the palms down to the mat or to the floor at about shoulder width, but somewhere that's not too far away and also not too close and give your spine enough freedom to move and to exhale and round the back, sending the head and the back of sin, so tailbone down and head down. Inhale, open up the chest, bend a bit the elbows and arch the back. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, arch the back. And continue a few more times with this motion, trying to involve as much as you can parts of your spine in the motion. Of course, making sure that hips and knees are happy with this position, but trying to feel a bit more that then another vertebra and another vertebra willing to come into that rounding and arching motion. Inhalation, we lift head and buttocks up, opening up the chest. Exhalation, we round the back, head and buttocks in. Inhale, we lift head and buttocks up, opening up the chest, and then walking the palms of our hands closer and closer to the body. So we are back at a seated position. Lengthen both arms far up to the sky as you inhale. With exhalation, we take the time and lower the right palm towards the mat, just to the, by the right hip. So you can use it as support. We bend the left elbow and we place the left palm on the right shoulder. And the left palm stays on the shoulder for a while. We want to lengthen the spine again. And with the next inhalation, we want to send the left elbow and the eyes and the head to the left side. Exhalation, send the left elbow and the eyes and the head towards the right. Inhale, elbow and head, neck and eyes to the left. Exhale, elbow and eyes and 
neck to the right. Inhale, elbow and eyes and neck to the left. Exhale, elbow and eyes and neck to the right. Head stays to the right. Inhalation, just the left elbow goes to the left. Exhalation, left elbow will go to the right. And the head and the neck will look to the left, so opposite direction. Inhale, elbow to the left and head to the right. Exhale, elbow to the right, head goes to the left. Inhale, elbow to the left, head to the right. Exhale, elbow to the right and head to the left. Inhale, elbow to the left and head to the right. Exhale, we lower the left palm to the right knee. We press the ground down, lengthening the spine as we press with both of our arms. And as we exhale, maybe we can take the body a little deeper into a twist, nothing that's too much, but maybe inviting more parts of your spine to turn, not to any point that feels painful. Let every inhalation lengthen the spine, make more room between the vertebrae and every exhalation to deepen a bit your twist. Great then release the twist a little bit so you have more room. Keep your palms and chest where they are, anchor them into where they are. So we can start and circle just the pelvis. And it's gonna be a small motion, sending the pelvis left and forward, exhaling the pelvis right and back. Inhale the pelvis left and forward. Exhaling the pelvis right and back. Slow motion. Okay? You try not to move so much the chest. You try not to move so much the rib cage. You try to isolate the motion to the pelvis and maybe discover small but significant angles your pelvis can visit. Very good. Like a massage to your lower back that you're doing from the inside with this small motion of circles. Left and forward as you inhale, right and back as you exhale. Great. We steady the pelvis. We press the palms down so we can grow and lengthen the spine. Exhale a little deeper to the twist, just a little bit. Enough so we can lower the palms of our hands further down the right side of the body. Maybe resting the elbows on the mat. Maybe placing the palms one on top of the other and resting the forehead on the mat. Maybe lengthening the arms away and resting the upper body down. All options are great. Take a moment and ease your body down here in this position. Inhaling and exhaling, inviting every exhalation to maybe take our body a little further, a little deeper into a nice deep stretch of your lower back. Great. Step by step, take your time to walk your palms back up to the center. Don't rush, take your time to come out of this deep place. Locate your arms behind your back so they can be a good support and you can lean on them. Bring your feet in front of you at about pelvis width. Bend your knees and slowly, slowly, we lower the knees to the left and we turn the head to the right. Inhaling knees and head back to the center. Exhaling knees to the right, head turns to the left. Inhaling knees and head 
back to center. Exhaling, knees to the left, head turns to the right. Inhaling, knees and head back to the center. Exhale, knees to the right, head turns to the left. Inhaling, knees and head back to the center. Beautiful. 